Welcome back to today's edition of First Grade Focus. I got a new toy. What do you guys think? All right, we'll see how much, uh, how much damage I can do with this bad boy. All right, uh, we have a lot, a lot of shout outs to get to today. Let's start off first. Let's go to Mr. Lance's class. Miss Lily, I love that you were so innovative on your word challenge. Actually, innovate is one of my favorite words out there, and the fact that you picked it. It's pretty awesome. Great job, Lily. Also, let's give a shout out to Liam, Mr. Lance's math class, for completing his extra math level. Let's turn our attention to Mrs. Rice's class. I had four students finish their word walls. And guys, they're so awesome. Francesca, Larry, Annalise and Carter each finished over the last day or so. And again, all of them are just fantastic. So great job, you four. And finally, let's turn our attention to Ms. DeMoss' class, um, where Case is involved in something called Heart Hunters. Let me explain to you what this is. Heart Hunters is a social movement to spread love and compassion during these times of social distancing, hearts are displayed in windows to show support to one to show support to one another and bring smiles to your neighbors that pass by. I think that's really cool, uh, Case. And if you guys didn't want more information on that, you can uh, email me and I'll point you in the right direction. All right, I believe that brings us to joke of the day. We're going to do a knock-knock joke. Let's see how it works out. Knock-knock. Stopwatch. Stop what you're doing and open the door. today's fun facts. I've got two. The largest paper airplane fight, flight ever measured was 61 meters, which is a little over 200 feet. I know I've seen a lot of you first graders make paper airplanes during indoor recess. Maybe during this e-learning adventure, you can figure out a time to make one that travels farther than that. The second interesting fact I have for you Parachutes were invented before airplanes. Now, me personally, I find that fascinating and I don't confusing <laughs> a little bit. But either way, as always, I hope you find those interesting. All right, let's bring it today's mini B. Today, we're going to do something that I'm calling the Green Space Challenge. What I want you guys to do either uh, most likely in your yard, a place where you're going to be outside a lot, hopefully during spring break if the weather is nice. I want you do, to do something to your yard to make it a better place for you and your family to plant. And that could be as simple as picking up sticks, raking up leaves, planting a new flower, making a garden, whatever it may be. Now, this could, this green space challenge could go on for the next week and a half so, or so, um, depending on what you guys decide to do. But if you do complete it, I'm going to give you another shout out. So have your mom or dad shoot me an email, send me a picture, or of course you can tell your teachers and they'll communicate it to me as well. This sound means it's over for today's video. This has been Mr. B, first grade, always reminding you to say please and thank you. Until next time, bye-bye.